Now I'm going to do a Palomino horse. So that's going to be kind of easy. -er. I'm going to use mm -hmm. trying to decide what I want for my darker undertones. I think I'm going to grab the Mediterranean and use it for my main coat. Main as an overall, not main as in main. Um, thank you to everybody who's been watching the videos that I've been posting these past couple of days. It's really great to see all everyone giving me hearts and and stuff. I'm gonna try to do the whole, do it the proper way. <clears throat> this is a brand new bottle of Mediterranean so it poured really nice um, the last bottle of Mediterranean it was like down to its bare minimum bare minimum no not bare minimum uh, last little dabs. So again, I'm going to paint on, making sure to get into the nooks and the crannies, and I'm going to only paint the area that my, the, the paint on my brush will do. I'm not going to force it beyond that area. And I'm not going to reload my brush. I'm going to take it and wipe it back. But I'm not going to dig in to the crevices. I'm going to leave it where it wants to pool. I just did what I said I wasn't going to do. I re reloaded my brush. But I kind of do that because I kind of know how much time I have to work with the paint now. So I I can kind of get away with doing that and you can too once you've figured out how this paint works for you and the reason why I say how it works for you is because everybody lives in a different climate um, some areas are more dry other areas are more humid um, you know so there's going to be different temperatures, different humidities, and that plays a part in how long it takes your paint to dry. You know, are you inside? Are you outside? Are you in a heated house, an air-conditioned house? Do you ha sit with a fan on all the time? You know, all that takes into, cons you know, take comes into play when you're considering how long you have before your paint dries out and stuff like that. And I'm doing this overall coating of the Mediterranean so that I get my 
my low lights and depth from my other color for my other color. I really think I am going to do, or I should say try my hand at making a wet palette because I think, especially when you're working on this overall antiquing coat, and maybe I'll call this the undercoat. I think in the rest of my videos, anytime I'm doing this kind of a tutorial, I'm going to call this coat the undercoating because there's too many other meanings for antiquing and I don't really want to confuse people. So we're going to have base coats, which are the first two coats that get the piece ready for the paint. Then there's the antiquing coat, which is using the antiquing solution from Fashion Hues, if you have it. And then this, I'm going to call this the undercoat because it's the coat, it's a color coat that goes under the other colors. Yeah, I think that might help. Let me know in the comments if you think me calling this the undercoat will help in further videos. And if, for those of you wondering about, you know, can I just paint with Fashion Hues and not wipe it away? Yes, you can, but the purpose of Fashion Hues is to do this wipe back method, I, I feel. I could be wrong, and if any of you that are watching this are a Fashion Hues dealer and you feel that I am wrong, please speak up. Because like I've said, I am not an authorized dealer. I am not a licensed teacher. This is just me doing it from the way that I learned. And then also kind of adding my own little, this is how I like to do it. Because like I always say, there is no wrong way to art. You know, if you want to make this horse a rainbow horse, you can totally make it a rainbow horse and it's not wrong. Art is your interpretation of the world. And 
everybody's going to have an opinion about it doesn't make them wrong or right. Not even if there's some big huge um, art critic. Even a critic can't be right all the time. And even if they are right in the art world, does it still doesn't make you wrong. Oh, and in case you haven't noticed, I did put out a clean piece of parchment paper um, because I had a lot of paint on the other parchment from the wolf that I didn't want to accidentally get transferred onto this piece because this piece is going to be such a lighter lighter piece.
So for a piece to be done in the fashion hues style that is not for a commission piece. Do we want just a general item? You know, like another horse, another different wolf head or do we want like a holiday piece comment in the section below and let me know what kind of genre so like Christmas Native American wolf um, fantasy garden And I'll pick a piece that I have on the shelves that I'm going to have to get ready to pack up. I've had the shelves in the front room of the house all summer long. But, of course, it's becoming holiday season, so we need to pack that away. For holiday stuff. So before I pack them away, I'll pull a piece off of the shelf. And I'll use it for the next video project. So I think having something to paint is actually helping me stay a little bit more focused on the work part of stuff that I actually have to do. So I think it'll help me. Now, I could leave this as it is and say that the undercoat is done, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go one more step on this undercoat because the color that I'm going to be using is going to be a very soft cream color. So it's going to be a little bit harder to cover over this and have that soft cream color. So I'm going to lightly take a wet wipe over the horse and make it a little bit more of a drastic highlighting in those areas or low lighting I guess in those recesses on the horse. I'm not, I'm not digging into any of the crevices. I'm just lightly going over. Got to do a little bit on the main. Might have went a little too heavy right there, but that's okay. I can. What I can do to fix that is take my wipe away cloth, find a spot where there's a lot of paint, and kind of wipe it back into place. So I want to make sure that I really leave it in the crevices of the main. I'm 
to that drastic difference. Okay, I'm going to let this actually dry for a little bit. Um, I've got a few other things that I have to go do before I can finish, before I can sit down and paint again, I should say. Um, so I'm going to do that, and then when I come back, I'm probably going to maybe mix some colors to get the Palomino tan color, because I have flesh mustard and caramel flesh starting here then caramel or mustard and then caramel and each one is pretty close or can be pretty close but not quite so I might do some mixing of colors to get the actual color that I want and I'm just cleaning out my brush with water for now um, but when I am actually all done painting I go into the bathroom and I clean my brushes so that they stay nice and beautiful um, I do have a video on that but if you guys would like to see another video on how to clean your brushes just maybe mention that down below as well and uh, that'll kind of help me know what you guys need to know and if you can't if you can't if you just ugh, if you want to just see the video and you can't find it, also just let me know and I'll be like, okay, well here's that post again. Alright everyone, that is it for now. I will be back probably later tonight to finish painting the horse. Take it easy until then.